Good evening. Today we are here with low tier science class or low tier reproduction. Let's go ahead and check out what he has to say. Brother stopped having kids after he had three daughters. Brother stopped at one and got a sex selection. Um, yeah. <laughs> See, um, the thing about that is when you're dealing with science and or test tube babies, there's no guarantee on what you might wind up with because it's not a guarantee that it'll work. So you'll pay all this money. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's like five to ten thousand dollars each time. And it's not guaranteed to take. So you're not even factoring in the fact that it might not even work. So you can run through a good shoot 30, 40 something thousand. And another thing about in vitro, when you're doing it like that, you could wind up with multiple kids, not just one. So you can wind up with multiple kids. They said triplets, all kinds of stuff. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's how Octomom wound up with all those kids. Could you imagine? <laughs> you think you're trying to get one boy and you wind up with triplets or two to three kids? You got, let's say, two girls and one boy or whatever. I mean, one kid's one thing, but multiple at one time is something completely different. The f There's no way me and a there's no way me and a chick would collab, bro. This ain't no mixtape. Well, I guess that is kind of a cleaner way to say it. <laughs> Just to know. Yeah, well, I get, I get, I guess, I guess I can't have a gripe with that. I guess, whatever. Have a seed. It comes out a girl, and I'm not doing a sex selection for the next one. I'm not risking or taking no chances. What do you mean you're not taking no chances? IVF is literally taking a chance. <laughs> Are you serious? Now, however, I do want to look into this, so I did a little bit additional research. So we're going to do a little reading today. We're going to go on the science class. We're going to check it out and look at some of this documentation because, you know what? I'm going to give my take after I, you know, run through some of this information. Are IVF babies more likely to be healthy? Your baby's also more likely to be born prematurely or with a low birth weight and are at an increased risk of developing life-threatening complications such as newborn respiratory distress syndrome or long-term disabilities such as cerebral palsy. What are the dark sides of IVF? Conceiving with IVF does carry an increased risk of pregnancy complications. In particular, there is an increased risk of preterm birth, low birth rate, hypertension, maternal gestational diabetes, and placental complications. Do IVF babies have more mental health issues? Depression slash anxiety disorder. Indeed, a study by Wagner et al. of parental and teacher observations reported that more IVF children scored in the borderline clinical range on the syndrome scale withdrawn depressed behavior compared with their spontaneously conceived counterparts. Can IVF babies have Down syndrome? Higher maternal age and assisted reproduction are both linked to congenital anomalies including Down syndrome, heart defects, and cleft palates. I think I said that right. Meaning that IVF babies conceived by older mothers are thought to be especially at risk. How old is the oldest IVF baby? Louise Joy Brown, born 25th of July, 1978, is an English woman who was the first human to have been born after conception by in vitro fertilization experiment. Babies born by in vitro fertilization when a woman's egg is fertilized outside of her body and then implanted back into her uterus skew more heavily male than babies conceived naturally. Well, if that's the case, then who's to say that you can choose it? Because they're saying it's more heavily skewed towards males, but you're, now you're saying that there was a choice? That doesn't make any sense. That's a contradiction. Because here's the thing. When you're saying something like it has a 99% choice, right? How is it skewed either direction? You see how they be lying? How they, <laughs> that's that's extremely dishonest. You can't you can't say something is 99% accurate towards getting one thing and then say, oh well, it's skewed more towards this side. That's not possible. You get what I mean? I, um, they say it's 99%, but I just feel like a lot of the I guess horror stories or the ones that are not favorable or either hidden or not out there because it's just too it's too profitable of an industry but let's continue and again that's that right there is not a fact that's just speculative but i'm just saying follow the money 
Is autism higher in IVF? Initial studies have reported little to no risk of ASD in children born after OIIUI, IVF, or ICSI. In addition, there may be higher risk of ASD in children born to parents with infertility, but who otherwise did not receive fertility treatment known as subfertility. Do IVF babies have higher IQ? A recent Danish study examining the academic performance in children conceived by assisted reproductive techniques (ART) confirmed that ART-born children are just as intelligent as their spontaneously conceived peers. Now, sorry about that tangent. I just had to do a little research because I became interested because he kept making these extremely confident statements. So I had to look it up for myself. But let's go ahead and continue. Absolutely not. He kept trying for a boy. He should have kept trying with in vitro and paying for the science. Sometimes when you collab with a chick, you can only have girls with that chick. And if you collab with a different chick, you can have boys. I don't think it had, it just, those two together, that's what made them have girls. That's not true. It's really based, it's based on the man. And that same man, he can have multiple mothers and it can wind up being girls every time or it can wind up being boys every time because it's solely based on the man because whatever he's producing more of or whatever he's more prone to produce to produce is how you wind up with one or the other like i'm it, that's a that, i mean it says it clear as day you can look it up i don't need to do any more uh <laughs> we don't have to do any more reports that's what it says but if he collab with another chick i bet you he'll get a boy that should happen one of my homies again is more based on the man than it is on the woman. Your homeboy and his garage, three boys in a row. That's what I'm saying. You know what I hate seeing to a squeegee ass that has boys. Like what the fuck you need with those? You're a lame ass. Good, bro. I could. That's too easy. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna do it. Nope. You're not gonna put him in no sports. None of that. You're just a flow Joe with sons. Like. The f how do but I asked him, how'd you conceive those boys? He said, oh, back. So guys, make sure you always finish with back. Shots. Don't let no ride you. Don't f missionary. When it's time to eat, always finish with backs. Man, no, I'm not about to play with you. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That is not, hey, I want to be very clear, y'all. That is not true. That is that is not true. That is not how that works. Because there, there's plenty there's plenty of people who did not do this who wound up with boys. Trust me when I tell you. I'm pretty sure if, if you in the comment section and you have kids. Go ahead. Go, why don't we go ahead and do a poll? Go ahead and go ahead and confirm this. I'm going I'm to just, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to just say it don't. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm going to just say it, that does not matter. But anyways, if you kicked it with your boy, I appreciate you hanging with me. Link's in the description below like always. And in the meanwhile, I'm out. Have a good one.